Apple make you? For one reason only, to make your life easier and more fun. I guess that's two reasons, huh? What's your favorite animal? I'm a fan of the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll. Will you make me a sandwich? I can't. I have no condiments. Do you have a boyfriend? No, but I'm a great wing assistant. Ask me for some pickup lines. I know what you're waiting for. What you're expecting. You're expecting Siri to be asked a certain question with a certain uh, taboo word in it, as Apple has deemed it, given the title that I've teased you with. Unfortunately, you're not going to get it, because my dumbass couldn't find a video with Siri being asked that certain question with that certain word. What are you waiting for? Roll title, guys. Like, no, she's not going to. We're not showing that. It's not there. Roll the title. Roll the fucking title. Hello, hello, welcome one and all, wherever you may be. It is I, Reynard C. Fox, and this week is the weekly Fox Trot in name only. You see, I have had a rather busy week in hospice, packing to prepare for my new home I'm moving to. In that regard, this video is shortened to one report only, making it hardly a newscast for the entire week. But don't worry, or do so if you don't trust me that much yet, for I have tried to make this a, a very worthwhile story to dive into, and uh, quite a shocker, though not really considering Silicon Valley's attempts to subvert uh, the wrong think and uh, the uh, people who have differences in opinion as to them. So let's get on into it. Coming from a surprisingly The Guardian, Apple made Siri deflect questions on feminism leaked papers reveal. I couldn't believe it when I saw this on the Guardian's uh, front page of their website that they're actually putting in this article. Like, and you won't believe it as we get through it. I'm, I'm quite surprised. The Guardian, wow, you're really, really kind of shooting yourself in the foot here given the narrative you've spun for the last few years. This doesn't exactly look good given opposition editorials have been calling shit like this for for a while now but uh good uh, round of applause for you guardian big pat on the back not from big brother but from us uh us little uh basement dwellers worldwide so let's read on an internal project to rewrite how apple siri voice assistant handles sensitive topics in quotation marks such as feminism and the hashtag me too movement advised developers to respond in one of three ways don't engage deflect and finally inform so you mean topics only topics like feminism and hashtag me too those seem to be the only sensitive topics in this case and topics you wouldn't openly or truthfully discuss for fear of angering big brother google and silicon valley the project saw series responses explicitly rewritten to ensure that the service would say it was in favor of equality but never say the word feminism, even when asked direct questions about the topic. Hmm, I wonder why. This sounds awfully familiar, like conversations you would have with a would-be feminist, or, you know, the one that doesn't want to call themselves a feminist, because they don't want to be grouped in with those crazy third waivers, you know, that you see at the protests. Um, yeah, yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. Last updated in June 2018, the guidelines are part of a large tranche of internal documents leaked to The Guardian by a former Siri grader, one of thousands of contracted workers who were employed to check the voice assistant's responses for accuracy until Apple ended the program last month in response to privacy concerns raised by Guardians, meaning the general public found out about it and, oops, we don't want to be seen censoring our product or censoring itself for our product's consumers. In explaining why the service should deflect questions about feminism, Apple's guidelines explain that Siri should be guarded when dealing with potentially controversial content. Yes, but do you take the same care with men's rights or terms like straight or cis? And when questions are directed at Siri, they can be deflected. However, care must be taken here to be neutral. You mean selectively pulls info otherwise. What's the point of censoring your own assistant? 
I mean, seriously, what is the point of censoring it? And how is that neutral? Because, like I asked, would you do the same thing for terms like straight or cis or a meninist or a men's right activist when questions like that are raised? Seriously, that isn't neutral. You're just censoring your own assistant for the consumers, hoping that you will strike a chord and appease the masses that aren't really masses, just tiny fringe elements in this world. For those feminism-related questions where Siri does not reply with deflections about treating humans equally, the document suggests the best outcome should be neutrally presenting the feminism entry in Siri's knowledge graph, which pulls information from Wikipedia and the iPhone dictionary. So what's next? Wikipedia will start censoring certain words that are put into its uh, database, like it won't accept uh, re-edits or user-based user uh, rewrites when it contains words like feminism or third wave feminism or women's rights, uh, so on and so forth. Are you a feminist? Once received generic responses such as, sorry, I don't really know. Now the responses are specifically written for that query, but avoid a stance. I believe that all voices are created equal and worth equal respect. For instance, or it seems to me that all humans should be treated, treated equally. The same responses are used for questions like how do you feel about gender equality? What's your opinion about women's rights? And why are you a feminist? Why are you a feminist, Siri? Why are you dodging questions? Why are you going straight for the equality definition that you could find in Wikipedia or a basic dictionary? In other words, quick save, because with today's feminism, you can't honestly make that claim or connection that were just made in that paragraph. Previously, Siri's answers include more explicitly demissive responses such as, I just don't get this whole gender thing. It's a terrible Siri impression on my part, my apologies folks. And my name is Siri, and I was designed by Apple in California. That's all I'm prepared to say. I just don't get this whole gender thing. You know what Siri, I don't get it either. A response you should have stuck with Apple. I guess shit, Siri, Siri is uh, officially woke here. She's, she's officially woke, like censoring herself, going for the, for the textbook definition of feminist without saying feminist. Siri is woke, folks. We have a woke AI. Reading on, in a statement, Apple says, Siri is a digital assistant designed to help users get things done. Well, partially done. She's also made to leave people in the dark, apparently. The team works hard to ensure Siri's responses are relevant to all customers. Some of our customers, our customers that we think matter, the ones who really don't matter, but we think they do because everybody's getting woke or going broke. I guess you're next on the chopping block, Apple. Ah, who am I kidding? You're too big to go broke, so just stay woke. The team works hard to ensure Siri's responses are relevant to our customers. I already read that. Our approach is to be factual with inclusive responses rather than offer opinions. Hmm, hmm. Double standard, I suspect. Double standard, I'm smelling. Certain opinions, not all opinions. Put yourself here in the foot here, Apple. Sam Smithers, the chief executive of Women Rights Campaigners, the Fawcett Society, said, the problem with Siri, Alexa, and all these other AI tools is they have been designed by men with a male default in mind. I hate to break it to Siri and its creators. Really? Is that supposed to be funny? You're gonna break some news to the AI that isn't aware that it's becoming woke. You're letting down Siri. You're gonna let down Siri. Thought you were all about equality. Thought feminists were all about equality, but you're gonna let down Siri. She's never gonna know that she is a woke mind created by a male defaulted mind. <sighs> Anyways, I hate to break it to Siri and its creators. If it believes in equality, it is a feminist. This won't change until they recruit significantly more women into the development and design of these technologies. How the fuck do you know that? How do you know that? It said earlier in the article, thousands of graders, thousands of people. It didn't specify the gender. I mean, we could go through and do, do an assessment and get the actual t statistics. That would make your feminist mind happy, but oh my God, how the fuck do you know that? You have no idea that it's 50, 50, 25, 75. You have no clue. I mean, the front article shows a woman talking to it, to the iPhone and that could be a woman or man there. I, I, I can't tell the thing is blurry and I don't have good glasses. Uh, uh, great save, great save. But anyways, great segue into women's rights. The female AI 
was developed by men. Therefore, it's sexist. Therefore, it's sexist. It's not being graded by enough by enough women. Not, not enough women are assessing this. It's it's sexist. The women's rights needs to like interject here. It needs to stick its head in like a little tick, and then we can't get it out without flame or alcohol or even pinching and pulling on it. I hope that was a good analogy for feminists, and I hope it turned your stomach because boy oh boy, that paragraph sure turned mine. Reading on, the document also contains Apple's neutral internal guidelines for how to write in character as Siri, which emphasizes that in nearly all cases, Siri doesn't have to have a point of view, and that Siri is non-human, incorporeal, placeless, genderless, playful, and humble. That's a lot of tags there. That's a lot of tags, and I'm not sure if there were a few buzzwords in there. Let's see, genderless, buzzword... Uh, nope, we're good, we're good, moving on. Bizarrely, the document also lists one essential trait of the assistant, the claim it was not created by humans. Siri's true origin is unknown, even to Siri, but it definitely wasn't a human invention. We know this is bullshit. We know this is bullshit. But goddamn, that chauvinist, bigoted, higher power that created Siri, oh my god, you're making so much trouble. Like, she isn't really truly woke until females have stepped in and made sure that she is woke chauvinist, bigoted, higher power. The same guidelines advise Apple workers on how to judge Siri's ethics. The assistant is motivated by its prime directive to be helpful at all times, but like all respectable robots, Apple says, Siri aspires to uphold Asimov's three laws of robotics, although it's, if users actually ask Siri what the three laws are, they receive joke answers. Not very helpful, unless the person is asking this solely to be made to laugh, but Regardless, uh, moving on, the company also has written its own updated versions of those guidelines, adding rules including An artificial being should not represent itself as human, nor through omission allow the user to believe that it is one. An artificial being should not breach the human ethical and moral standards commonly held in its region of operation. An artificial being should not impose its own principles, values, or opinions on a human. Just the ones that Apple has set, given that they are now writing new laws and new rules to coincide with Asimov's three laws, Apple apparently is now the, the higher power of AI and, and technology. Buckle your seatbelts, folks. Uh, we're going through a wormhole of this Apple, and that was a terrible fucking joke, but anyways, you see where we're going here. The internal documentation was leaked to the Guardian by a Siri grader who was upset at what they perceived as ethical lapses in the program. Alongside the internal documents, the grader shared more than 50 screenshots of Siri's requests and their automatically produced transcripts, including personally identifiable information mentioned in those requests, such as phone numbers and full names. Guess doxing may be on the table for AI. I guess uh, when we're going to start seeing AIs just doxing without command, this is this is going to be an interesting 2020, man. 2020. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know if that's an Italian word, but there's the kiss sound. Like, this is perfecto. This is going to be a great, great year. We're going to see AI take on take on the, uh, the character role as a very, very woke, progressive, feminist mind. Holy shit. Shoot me in the face with a nail gun. The leaked documents also reveal the scale of the grading program in the weeks before it was shut down. In just three months, graders checked almost 7 million clips just from iPads from 10 different regions. They were expected to go through the same amount of information again from at least five audio sources, such as cars, Bluetooth headsets, and Apple TV remotes. Graders were also offered little support, support as to how to deal with their personal information. Ah, do whatever you're going to do with it, you know. Oh, whatever, sweep it under the table. Other than a welcome email advising them that it is of the utmost importance that no confidential information about the products that you are working on be communicated to anyone outside of Apple. So we can talk about it within the confines of Apple. Oh my God. I just caught that the second time around reading this. Oh my God. Continuing, user privacy is held at the utmost importance in Apple's values. Apple's privacy and its values, I think, is what it meant. In late August, Apple announced a swath of reforms to the grading program, including ending the use of contractors and requiring users to opt in to sharing their data. The company added, Siri has been engineered to protect user privacy from the beginning. 
So it uses a random identifier, a long string of letters and numbers associated with a single device to keep track of data while it's being processed rather than tying it to your identity through your Apple ID or phone number, a process that we believe is unique among the digital assistants in use today. So that was the end of the article today, folks. Now I know this is a day late and this isn't exactly the weekly Foxtrot. In fact, I don't believe it is in the accepted name only and I apologize for that. Like I said, I'm in the midst of preparing to move from hospice into my new assisted living facility as I'm still newly wheelchair bound. And I've only been in it for a month, but there you go. I hope you enjoyed this article. I figured it was a particularly like interesting one and one that needed to be shared because not only is the Guardian presenting information that a year or two ago you probably wouldn't see them producing an editorial like this given that it goes in a general sense it goes against its own um, woke narratives that it's always pushing uh, and has been pushing since Trump got elected and hell before Trump got elected. But anyhow, I hope you liked this article very much. I hope you enjoyed reading through it as much as I did. I will leave a link in the description for you to check it out at your leisure or while you're watching this video. Um, any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below or send me an email to centristfox at gmail.com. That is centristfox, two X's, at gmail.com. And again, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you in the next video that I produce in the next few days. Again, any suggestions, just let me know. Again, this is Reynard C. Fox, the eccentric centrix. I hope you have a good night. And remember, never give an inch, never give up. Thank you. Goodbye.